Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, depending on what time you're watching this, what part of the world you're in. This is Chris again, the Watch Songs Committee, with another video. Today's video is not really a, a review per se, because those of you that know me know I'm not really technical, I'm technologically inclined, excuse me guys. So, Rich had offered to send me this um, Tag Viewer Connected Smartwatch, Rich has results and has been kind of in a whole bunch of cool pieces. This is the Tag Viewer Connected. I said, heck yeah, I'd like to uh, check it out. Now, I've been trying to figure it out here and there. There's people way above my level of expertise on technology. Now, I'm sure the more that I, if I, if I own one, the more that I wore it, the more that I would figure it out. I'm just more of a regular watch kind of person speaking of. I just got off work. I was wearing the Pagani Explorer 2 to work, but I switched over to um, Peter's NASA G-Shock Square. Pretty cool little piece, by the way. Thanks again, Peter, for lending this in. Um, look for a full review. It is currently Wednesday. I may end up doing that review after this review and pushing it out tomorrow or Friday. I'm not sure. Thursday, something like that. But I do believe it is. That yes, it is Wednesday morning. So excuse me if I look a little tired, guys. Just got off work for this almost five in the morning, but just got off work, guys. But um, again, I'm not very technologically inclined. So excuse me if I don't know all the facts and the details about this watch. It was cool nonetheless to get to see this watch in person and get to check it out. It may be something I may add, or you may want to add your regular watch collection. I wouldn't consider it part of the watch collection. It is an alternative to an Apple Watch, which Apple Watches are expensive, but when you hear the price of the Tiger you were connecting, you'll think it's a little pricey too as well. But it does come with a lot of features uh, and all kind of pretty cool kind of gimmicky kind of things. And if you are into golf, I know there's a lot of you that are into golf. Um, there is a cycling mode in here, Rick, uh, Rick on watches, if you're, watching bud you may want to check out one of these watches because they do have some pretty cool stuff that you can probably use with your cycling they have they can track your cycling the amount of miles they and you can also download an app i think for the golf course and all that kind of cool stuff and again i don't claim to be an expert on this watch i'm just kind of doing an overview kind of showing you guys the cool little factors and everything about it it took me a minute to figure out how to use it it's still taking me a little bit. It is cool because it can read off messages. You can get text messages. You can get Facebook messages off of it. So if you're at work and, and you're not, not wanting to get on your phone, you can kind of see who messaged you, whatever, who text messaged you. And you can kind of get back to them later when you go on break, something like that, which is a pretty cool feature. And also, I'm trying something a little bit different. I'm going to do an uh, uh, unboxing of a Borealis at the end of this video. And I'm going to show you guys a new book that I just got it which I think is a pretty cool book. Um, it's not new to the watch game per se, but it's new to me, so I'm interested in checking it out, and I'll show you guys that at the end of the uh, video, so stick around. It might be a little bit longer than I usually do. Again, I'm trying to do two to three videos a week, not really push a whole bunch of videos out, but do two to three quality videos a week. Let me know if you guys like that down in the comments below. If you prefer the longer quality videos, I would say ones that feel like they're a little bit more pushed out, and the ones that feel like they're a little bit more rushed, I, I feel like this way is a little bit better. And it gives you guys a little bit better content. Like I said, this is more of an overview, showing you guys the watch itself, what it can do, what it's capable of. If you guys know of anything, let me know down in the comments below what I missed, what I haven't checked out. Anyways, guys, we'll get on to the watch. Now, here is the watch itself. It works off of a couple different apps. I have it on kind of this cool kind of teal, green kind of aquamarine looking kind of um face and the, and the cool thing about this is you can change it to different carrera faces different uh i believe monaco faces if you download the different apps now it does not stay on that long that's the about the only bad thing the bezel does not move and i do believe this is water resistant to 100 meters as you can go swimming with it i don't think you can go diving with it guys i wouldn't i wouldn't suggest that with a smartwatch but definitely pretty cool that i think you can take this in the water and it, it i don't think it is a crystal sapphire but here is the tag with a reference number. Again, this is the tag you were connected. These do run about $1,800. I know you're going to think that's a little bit pricey, guys. But for everything that you get, and if you want something a little bit different from the Apple iWatch, this is definitely the way to go. It has that kind of tag you were kind of sports sportiness to it, I guess you can say. And where is really laying on the wrist, guys? If you're, you're a pretty active person, you work out a lot. You like to go biking, swimming, like I mentioned earlier before, like I said, Rick, you might want to check one of these out. Um, these are pretty cool for you. They can they track your miles and everything, and you don't have to worry about it. Not mucking up one of your nicer watches, or you can just end up taking a G-Shock. But again, like I said, this is pretty cool to check out, guys. And then this, of course, 
you have to open iOS or OS Wear OS to the phone, which I have on my phone. And there's also a tag connect the app where you can swap out the different dials and all this. And of course, as you know, I do um, record videos with my phone, guys. This is some of the options it has right here. Whenever you hit this button here in the center, the um, what would be normally a screwed on crown. Obviously, I don't think it is a screwed on crown. It has a tag here symbol here. Now it has, excuse me, sorry, went off really quick. It has the tag here, sports modes, which with the different modes, sorry, it goes, it has GPS, heart rate, analytics, you have some troubleshooting, has the app, and then the different, like I said, the different sports it has. It's pretty cool. It has a stopwatch. It has a timer. You can go into your agenda. You can set alarm. You can go into your contacts. I haven't tried calling anybody. I don't think the phone can actually call anybody. But again, it does show your contacts and you, it shows who sends you a text message and everything like that, which is pretty cool. It does have a Find My Phone uh, device on here, so it pings your phone and it helps you find your phone if you lost your phone, which can come in pretty handy, guys. And it has Fit Breathe, helps, so it helps you control your breathing, tells you how steady your breathing is. Fit Goals, you can set regularly, Fit Heart Rate, you can do a different Fit Workout. It has a flashlight on it, Google Pay, which is pretty cool, and then you have the Play Store, and you can set reminders. Then there's the different settings, and again, there's the tag here golf, guys. You can um, actually track your golf game for those of you that are into golf, and I do believe they have a smartwatch just for that as well, but I believe this does do the same functions, or almost the same functions, where it tracks your actual score, and you can, you can kind of log your score on the golf if you guys are into that. It has your weather, it has translate, tag here wellness, of course. And it does have some other pretty cool things in here. If you go through here, analytics, troubleshooting again, I was in there. And then here's settings, all kind of different cool stuff. But overall, like I said, pretty cool piece for what it is. Uh, nothing too fancy. There's the case back there. That's what you use to charge. Let me grab the charger here. I was charging in it earlier today. The charger was a little bit of a pain to kind of get on. But once you figure it out, it is really not that bad. Sorry guys, I got kind of tangled up here. But once you figure it out, it's not really that bad. And here is the charger here. You just kind of plug that bad boy in from your regular uh, device, so your regular output device. And you just plug it in right there, wait till this little light flashes here on the side, and you will see that it is indeed charging. So that's pretty cool. And it does have a low power mode. Now, I will show you what it looks like on my 7.5 inch wrist. These are pretty decent size. I do believe these are about 42, 43 millimeter size, so they will fit most wrists. And the brand, the band allows you to breathe pretty comfortably. I do believe they do come with a metal bracelet as well option, which I think is a little bit more. But personally, if you're an active person working out, you want something a little more breathable. Again, that's something kind of an alternative to a regular uh, watch, guys. Definitely recommend it if you're looking for something outside the box from an Apple iPhone, something kind of unique, something kind of different. And I do like the Tag Hewer Heritage behind it, of course. Which, I mean, I know it's a mechanic, not a mechanical watch, but it does have the Tag Hewer links behind it, which I think is pretty cool. I've always been a Tag Hewer fan, as you guys know. So it's been pretty cool to check this out, and I appreciate it, Rich, for sending this piece in. Definitely pretty cool to get to check out something different in once while I'll show you guys something different besides regular watches. As you know, I like all type of watches, and it does have pretty decent glow at night. So if you're sleeping, and you like me, you like to wear your, your watch to sleep, whatever, you can see in the middle of the night, you just press the little button, and that's it. And it, you can see the time, the date, and everything. So it is pretty accurate watch, of course. It's accurate as a quartz, I would say, just like my Bluetooth G-Shock here, which is about the most advanced I can go, guys. Like I said, this watch is a little bit over my uh, head with the technology there. I'm sure if I figured out a little bit more, as you know, I'm not technologically <laughs> uh, inclined, guys. I'm lucky I'm able to upload YouTube videos. <laughs> but um, it's pretty cool to be checking this one out, guys. But on to the unboxing of the Borealis, guys. I think the Borealis is a pretty cool watch. I got it from Random Rob's Discord group, guys. Kevin over at Wrong Time Watch, I believe, set this one up. And I believe this may have originally been with Random Rob as well. This is the Borealis Neptuno. And as you know, I've spoken with Carlos a couple times, the owner of the brand. Pretty cool brand. And he kind of one of the OG kind of micro brands out there, guys. Definitely something to look into if you're looking for something a little bit different as well. 
This is a Borealis Neptuno, and I'll have to do a little bit more re research on it, guys. But overall, my first impressions whenever I tried it on, definitely pretty cool. Let me know if you guys want to see more videos like this where I do unboxings for the end of the video. Give you some guys something a little bit forward to look to look forward to towards the end of a review. Um, like I said, trying to do a little bit longer quality videos instead of a few a bunch throughout the week. I'm trying to do two or three a week quality videos. And I will show you guys the book that I got as well to end this video, guys. I figured it's been a little while that I've gotten the book. If you guys could recommend any other books, let me know. I'm trying to capture it in the frame here, guys. This is Chasing Time. Benny's watch, wristwatch, just for the discerning collector. Pretty cool book from what I've seen so far. Overall, of course, you know, I like the orange right there. But it shows, it shows all kind of different watches, Benny's watches in the book. A bunch of watches I've never even known about as well. So it will be pretty cool to flip through here and kind of learn the different vintage pieces. I've never really been big into vintage pieces, but it may end up, you know, teaching me a whole lot that I've never known before. Kind of go into a whole new world of watches here, guys. But um, let me know what you guys think. If you guys haven't already, please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. As I do come out with videos regularly, whether it be live streams, videos like this, reviews, unboxings. Let me know what you think down in the comments. I will see you next time. Peace.